Ah, Angelo. You look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Maybe it would help to get it off your chest, hmm? Uh, not that I want to force you, mind. Oh, I don't know. Maybe things will never be right between us. He, Marcello, will never forgive me. If only we didn't share common blood, I'm sure we'd get along fine. Abbot Francisco was always well known around these parts for his benevolence. He'd often take in children who had nowhere else to go. And I was one of them. My parents were well off, part of the aristocracy. But then they both died. All of a sudden, I was left with no family and no money. The abbey was the only place I could go. You're new here, aren't you? Are you here to join the brothers? Have you come all on your own? Oh, you must be exhausted. Where are your things? Is that all you've got? Um, my mummy and daddy died, so I don't have many things. And I don't have anywhere else to go. You sound a lot like me. But there's no need to worry. Abbot Francisco and all of us will be your family from now on. But... but... <laughs> Let's go and find the abbot. Come on now, don't cry. Why don't you tell me your name? Angelo. You! So you're Angelo! Leave! I want you to leave! You... Leave and never come back! I don't ever want to see you again! So you're intent on ruining this life for me as well, are you? Marcello was the golden boy of the Abbey. He studied hard and had a bright future ahead of him. But when it came to me, his attitude wasn't so positive. 
I'm so sorry, child. I'm sad to say I heard that little exchange. It's so unlike Marcello to act like that. I just don't understand. Ah, I see. I always knew he had a half-brother. That's you, isn't it? You're Angelo. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Let's hope your living here will make everything all right. Now, come along with me. From today onwards, this will be your home. Why don't I introduce you to everyone? Not long after that, I heard the full story for the first time. About how I had a half-brother who was born from an affair between my father and one of the maids. And that was Marcello. If I hadn't been born, he'd have been next in line to my father. But when I was born, Marcello and his mother were thrown out of the house with nothing to their names. She died soon afterwards. He had no one. So he ended up at the Abbey, hating me and my father for all those years. Quite a bombshell, don't you think? I was so young and innocent then, too. The whole thing hurt more than you can imagine. Still, c'est la vie. My father got off lightly. He did just what he wanted and then died, and left me to take the consequences. I'm the only one left for Marcello to hate now. In a way, I can't say I blame him, and it was probably good that we lived together. At least it gave him someone to take it all out on. It certainly added a bit of spice to the humdrum life at Maella Abbey, anyway. Angelo, I'm so... <laughs> this story's gone on long enough. Look, it's nearly daybreak. Wait! <laughs> 